Hello and welcome, wherever you're watching around the world, and welcome back to the Cricket 24 career mode. Today we're playing a T20 and it's been 13 overs of the second innings before I've actually even touched the ball or the bat, because I did not bat in that first innings. Let's see how we go. Oh, it's an edge straight away. Oh, he's whipped that around the corner and my man at fine leg is not going to do anything about that. That's four. Now, there is significant doubt here as to what I'm going to be doing here in my plans bowling-wise because there is a big... Well, that's that's okay and that's well-fielded. But there is a big gap sort of behind square on the leg side. I've got a, a, a few men out there in the deep. Like, I've got deep square leg, deep mid wicket and long on. So I almost want to just pitch it up and say, go for your life on the leg side. He's gone the slog sweep, but I might be the best person to feel that. As they will get just the one. I put the pressure on. So it is obviously disappointing when you bat at four that you don't really get too many opportunities yep. with the bat in T20 cricket here, as this is going to be four again. So I'm really going to have to improve with the ball, because that was ten runs off the over. So that's not the ideal start. And then that's whipped leg sided, and that's almost six. It is into the fence on the full. Should have had a finer person on the offside. That's come off something. I don't know what. And it's going to be four. Maybe the glove on the way down. This is 14 off the over. This is almost game over. And that is beautifully whipped. This is four. And this... That's 50 for Jace Harvey. And it's really just... Like, I haven't taken any wickets and I've gone at 10 plus and over. And that has been absolutely pulled off the short one. And that's four as well. So I can probably say that my spell here has cost us the game. All right. We need to defend three here off this last over. So I'm going to keep it wide outside the off stump. And of course, an inside edge ends the game first ball. I, I thought, oh yeah, I'll bowl this really, really well. But no is the correct answer. The old French cut, how it doesn't go on to the stumps, is news to me. Leopold winning by seven wickets. Oh, yes, here we go, though, everyone. Here we go. 50 over cricket, making our way to the middle. It's two for 73. I've got 35.3 overs here of goodness to come up against uh, Torquay. Interesting. Bit of country versus coastal town. There's a one run there. We're thinking about the second, but I am not... Running a teammate out today. Famous last words. And off the back of the last uh, batting innings that I had in the last video, I feel mildly confident that I can produce something quite good again. Covers drive, I reckon. Oh, has it carried? There was certainly glove or an edge involved. What's it come off? Straight off the glove. And it's it's just bounce here as well, so we we well we got away with it in the end. Yep. That's an edge, and that has carried. There, it's the real slow outside the line of off stump that is annoying to try to play at, because it's just a consistently annoying line, and there's not a lot you can do about it. So that way, I'm out for seven off fourteen. It's three for ninety three. But I was in for a good day with the bat. Maybe in the three-day game coming up. Oh, I feel that. Jeez, if I'm able to field that, then I, all of a sudden I'm going to be a very good spinner. Or oh, can I field it myself? I can. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. And unfortunately for us, we've ended up losing this game. Nine for 202. I didn't do anything with the ball. It was a real nothing performance for me, which is kind of what you get early in your career. Lots of nothing performances. So hopefully... We can fix that up. Uh, and we've got a three-day game coming up against Maryborough's uh, team. Now, three-day cricket, generally you get an opportunity to take some potential fifers. We had a threefer in the last game. And I've actually got the ball here, obviously, seven overs in, which is very early for a part-timer to have the ball, especially a spinner, a part-time spinner. I don't really know why the game tends to do this. It obviously wants to get you in the game as early as it possibly can. Um, that probably shouldn't have been a single come on field. We're a bit better than that. Um, and like, we'd love to get some wickets early. So just want to put the pressure on them. Look at the fielding. Jeez, we're getting a bit of rain here as well. 
Might need to just... Oh! That's half a chance, actually. Did he catch that? No. Catch it! Yes! The shoey works! <laughs> and don't I love it as the rain is tumbling about. You can just see... Classic straight onto the shoe. The bat pad dismissal. It would have been nice to see the ball actually, like if you were going to get a bat pad in this game, it actually go from the bat to the pad rather than the bat to the shoe. Because that has existed for pretty much every game it's, uh, in this whole series since I think Ashes Cricket 17 might have been the first one to have the shoey as a dismissal, as we like to call it. Oh, it's a tight leave. I'd love to see them leave a ball that then just crashes into the stumps. Just one in a hundred chance that they just leave the ball and it crashes into the stumps. Because it turns more than they were thinking. Catch it! Oh, leg slip. Got to do better than that. Feel that, feel that. Yes, look at me go. Jeez, I've put some good work in here and the rest of the team is obviously just backing it up. So now we get our chance with the bat in hand. Eight matches, an average of 19. 137, striking at just under 100. But obviously we bowled well, so that gives us confidence. Hopefully we can use that to have a good innings here. Oh my God. <laughs> this man's name is literally Bowler. Of course he's gonna get me out. He was literally steaming in. I've never seen someone run in with that much steam. Oh no, poor Lorenzo had to face the hat-trick ball. Team out for 118. What a disastrous moment. Yes. I cannot believe first ball. I was so intimidated by that bowling action of the dude absolutely charging in. Catch it. Is that out? Or did it hit the ground first? It must have hit the ground first. Because he certainly hit it straight into his pad and it went in the air. But it might have been into the ground and up into the air. Oh, we've got him here. The chat is up. The chat is up. It's a bit of chatter, no. He's playing at that one. Get in his head. Keep the chatter up, boys. Oh, it's hit him outside the line, but you just love for the umpire to give that one out, please. Uh... So we're back in at the crease. After once again, not taking a wicket. The score is two for two, two five, with the target 263. Waiting. So we're actually in uh, pretty good shape here as a team, needing just another 40 odd runs. So a nice 20 not out would be really good. As long as that other bowler doesn't come on with the super intimidating run up, we'll be fine. Yep. It's full toss, well fielded, very well fielded. Get back for another single. And we are now just like 30 runs away. Is my job to get this other bloke to 100? Yep. Or is it to just give myself as many runs as I possibly can? Oh! Just the one. Because if it's to get the other dude to 100, there's only 24 runs left. Yep. And he needs a solid 17 of them. So let's just get him back on strike. Which means this I should really just get the dot ball. So let's just go for the dot ball here then. Oh, look at that. Played. Well done. Two for two, four, one. And again, I imagine I'll just block this one out. Oh, it was a nice full toss. I would have I would have smashed that. Oh, didn't get it in the gap. Impossible mix up. But it's going to be an overthrow. And we'll get that guy on strike anyway with the one. Oh, no. Christopher Bowler. My nemesis. He's basically running in from the boundary. Jeepers. He is charging in. What is this keeper doing? It's so intimidating because he runs so fast and the ball comes out a little bit slower than how he's running. No run. Oh, it sucks that I couldn't even get a nod out. This man had my number. It's the run-up, I'm telling you. This is the most frustrating run-up to deal with because he's so quick. I've tried to play something a little too fancy there. It's my own undoing. I'm out for six. 
and the team is going to be uh, winning the game anyway. Uh, and ha Harris didn't even get to 100. He was on 94, not out. So I didn't even do my job. Ridiculous. We're actually now 20 overall ever on, which is good news. Um, but unfortunately, just in general, we are still absolutely garbage at doing anything. So we're going to go through here. We've got our way onto the bus. You can see a couple of losses, a couple of wins, a couple of losses. And uh, we are at the moment sitting in fourth place with one win and two losses in T20s. Now, I haven't really had a bat in T20 cricket. So if our team wants to fall apart today, give us an opportunity in the T20s to smash some balls around. That'd be great. All right, everyone. We've got a solid four deliveries which really just means hit out or get out. It's kind of a shitty situation to be in. Yep. I want two here. I'm running you out if you're not getting home. Oh, I might run myself out. Get there. Nice. I've just realized the bloke at the other end is on 97 and I really should do the team thing and get him on strike. Yep. No. no. All right, I've got to hit a one here. Got to find a way to get one. Yep. That'll do, that'll do. All right, get him on strike. Just give him the last ball of the eatings. Otherwise, I'll try and run three. Yep. Oh, he's going up and over. There it is. He's done it. He's hit that for six. <laughs> he has brought up his hundred. Have a look at him. Celebrate it. He didn't even raise the bat. He just looked around and said, I'm that good. I don't need to celebrate. Well done. Three not out from us. Best innings of the day. All right, so we do get one opportunity here. The team needs to defend 38 off the final two overs. Okay, so I got all protection on the leg side. So that's in the air. Man, get to it. It's six, he like hesitated. So they needed 32 off the last two. Or was it 36? They've ended up getting it down to 20, which is a bit more doable. This guy's just picked up a 50, was Robertson. I'm a little concerned. He's put a big smile on his own face. Here comes the quick bowler. Oh, that's in the air. That's four. They only need 20, and now it's down to 16 from five. He's gone again through mid-wicket. That's four again. Nobody's stopping that. 12 from four. 12 from four. What is this field, though? Got to bowl it outside the off stump, mate. It's a good short ball. Hopefully not a wide. That's better. That's a leading edge. That's a dot again, which makes it 12 from two, which means they need to be perfect from here. It has to be 6-6 six, six to win the game. Oh, Warner goes over midweeker. That's a four. That's okay. As long as it's not a noe. Oh, and that could be a wide. It's not. <laughs> so we've won. Get in, Castle Main. Absolutely exciting that we've got the job done. Don't know why I'm celebrating. I really did nothing there, and I'm not the captain. But uh, Ian Yearwood, for his 103 off 56, did win the Player of the Game honours there in that T20 game. And I think we've got one one-day game left in us. Because we've really, once again, done absolutely nothing in this particular episode. We need to find some fights, some improvement. Can we find a way to score some runs or something? Castle May Maryborough. 50 over a game. It's always a bold strategy using me because I don't really take many wickets. In fact, I don't really do anything helpful with the ball at the moment. My best attribute right now is in the field because I am pretty useless with the bat right now. We've only had the one half century in about seven or eight or nine outings. And that's per match, not per innings, because obviously the three-day games would probably not take him any wickets. That is six runs, any which way. I reckon this man is out. He's going to nick it. And he's gone! <laughs> oh, my goodness. Can you predict it any better than that? He nicked it, and he hit it into the stumps. I thought he was going to nick it to the keeper, but, it, it, you know, we'll take the inside edge. As well, I am Nostradamus, see a Doherty, six for 254. You don't mind a wicket every now and then, do you? Oh, this should be two. Oh, no, it's not. The fielders have got themselves confused. But that is better, better in the field. So we're chasing just over 300, and we will get a chance. I've made 146 runs across 10 matches. 
There's an average of 16 there. That's not very good. <laughs> no matter which way you spin it. Yep. We're going to have to find a good innings here no! to prove... Uh, Prove ourselves to the team. Can you get dropped from the the, uh, the club level team? I'd think about it right now if you were a... No. Uh, also, my selection status is also set to hard. So given the fact that I am not doing very much in this career, this point, we're going to take about 300 episodes to get selected for the Australian team. Yep. That's a good shot. In the past, it's taken around about 60, 70 videos to get there. But I reckon given my horror start here, it could take us a little bit longer as we come back for three. Task to take on those men. That is a good shot. Deep point is down there. We want to come back for a second run, which we will do. Bit risky. Yep. Oh, disappointed. I've probably missed out there. It was the straight one. There's not one in this. But I will find a way to get one. Yep. That's in the gap. That's four. Perfect timing. Just took it as it turned in a little bit. As we've lost wicket number four as a team. There's, there's the gap between sort of square leg and backward short leg. I think what I tend to do at the beginning of the videos is I just try to rush my innings. Whereas here I'm like, all right. I know that there's a big target to get. I've got to get in. Let's play at the good balls or play at the bad balls. But while this spinner is bowling this line, it's like, well, it's not really worth it to try and play a shot unless you can hit it and cut it behind point, which is what I might try this next delivery. But no, it was aimed in onto the stumps. So I'll have to block it away. 4 of 79. There's no really convincing gaps at the moment. Yep. Even down to... Like sort of a deep mid off, we can get the one, but that's about it. So we're five down now, but I am in green confidence. So hopefully we can start to hit some boundaries. Oh, ideal timing, but uh, no boundary to be hit. Yep. Oh, that might be a boundary. The fielder in the deep didn't pick it up. And it is four. It's a real Rashid Khan action yep. from the man in the middle. And yeah, this is, the, this is the point where I think you realise in your innings that, hey, I'm actually in at the crease. I'm going to start to hit some good shots. So confidence in this particular game more than any other, I feel, is playing a significant factor. Oh! Oh, I was so quiet because I was like, I don't give it away, don't give it away, don't give it away. Smashed it, the keeper dropped it, and then he took it on the second bite. He was convinced. I stood there and I looked as innocent as all hell, and the umpire said, not out. And we've absolutely got away with one there. Waiting. I mean, how could he not know? You could hear that noise. It was so loud. That's a wide. Yep. Oh, run. Dive. Oh my god, that, that, that bowler might have saved me. Oh yes, look at that. Absolutely smashed through the covers. There was a big enough gap there that I thought it's probably worth trying to go in the air and just see how big I can go. Because I believe one of my attributes was supposed to be power hitting. So that's a, not a bad result in the end. And that, I don't know how, must have had to be playing that off the back foot. Oh, he's pulled it. Is it going all the way it is? It's six. I'd already convinced myself I was going to play a big shot, but it was short and I've absolutely smashed that into the hill. It's dug its own hole in there. You're gonna need a new ball, 96 meter six. Wait, yep. And we've hit 10 from the over. So far, this will make it 11. Yep. Pulled away, again, doesn't quite beat the short mid wicket fielder, just the single. Oh, he's got that fine. Is it fine enough? No. Oh, there probably was two because they've gone to the bowl's end. The team is in absolute all sorts. We're six down now. Still chasing this score of 300 plus. And um, I'm running out of batting partners. And if in the process of uh, obviously trying to accelerate, I can get my own 50, 
which has really just been off the back of a lot of singles recently. No, that's not carried, so we'll get the dot. Yep. Yes, real slower delivery. All right, at least we'll come back for two here. There's a few possible shot choices here. Yep. Well, that wasn't really one I was planning on. They never bowled straight to me. Is there two in it? No, turn back. Aerial shots. That's just the one. Gets me to 49. Oh no. It's Christopher Bowler. The man with the longest run up in existence. Oh my goodness. How do you play him? Yep. I can and I will. 50 for me. It's my second 50, one, six, three, fours. And uh, I really don't have a plan here. Yep. Come on, there's two in that. There is absolutely two in it, yes. Lovely stuff. 16 overs left. We need to double our score from here with just four wickets in hand. Yep. I haven't got that fine enough. Six. Four, one, five, eight. <laughs> Seven for one, five, eight. I thought, let's smash this over cover. I've got a little inside edge, and of course, it's straight back onto the top of the bales. Spent 99 minutes at the crease for that half century. Unfortunately, no one else was really able to prevail. And I made 54 and took a wicket, but Archer Hill, who's the man with... 173 not out one player of the game on us there. And once again, unable to get it done for the team. But it was still quite a good batting performance, I think. Like, I, I definitely think I improved. Our form is on the decline by the yellow pointer down arrow. Um, and at the moment, you know, our, our batting average is 20. We've got two 50s in there. Uh, I was at least able to hit my first six with the ball. Uh, we have a five for across a, a match, of course, but our best in an innings is three for 31. Uh, economy of 3.32. It's not great in uh, in one-day games. Uh, and the Manhattan graph here, if we go, is not looking great. There's kind of four bad performances in between a decent one at the moment. If we can have more in that green area and above, uh, that would really help us out. But otherwise, everyone, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll be back tomorrow with another career mode. And tomorrow, bonus, we're going to have a one-day game between Australia and India because we're going to be doing a one-day World Cup. So I need to make sure I download all those teams. We're going to do a one-day World Cup uh, coinciding with what Australia are doing in their own one-day World Cup in the world. So tomorrow will be Australia and India, and then we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, everyone. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.